Okay, so here we have some changes on the machine that we have put into place. So the machine has two ways of running to wash. Cycle one, two, three are three steps. Step one is to do the hot water wash of the bottles. So it's going to keep the same hot water and you can put in a number of trays until you decide when the water uh, has had enough uh, bottles washed. Then you switch it to cycle two and then you're gonna it's gonna drain and you'll have to push the stop button and it'll drain the water the soap water and it'll refill with the sanitizer on step two steps and then you're when you're done you you hit the stop button it'll drain that water and you go to step three which is the hot booster rinse cycle so this is we're gonna put it into place I've got the heater on uh, oh one more thing to point out this is a completely separate step the automatic cycle, that'll do the soap wash, sanitizer, and hot rinse all as one step so that if you only have one tray to do, let's say, you can put use that button instead of going three steps. So we've got 20 milk bottles in the machine currently for, for a wash. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the cover and I'm gonna push cycle one. It's gonna start filling up with water and it's filling up currently. And in this case, the machine doesn't put the soap in right away. It first fills up with the water and it will add the soap at the very end, just prior to washing. Okay, as the water is almost completely filled up, the float is, will start moving. And now the soap will start being added into the machine in, in a few seconds here. Good. Now it's filled up uh, with the soap. It has its hot water and it's in the wash. It's gonna wash the bottles for approximately 60 seconds. And when it's done, I'm gonna open up the cover, remove the 20 milk bottles, put in another 20 milk bottles for another wash. Okay, so now the 20 bottles have been washed. The first batch is washed. The water stays in the machine. The soap water is still there. And I'm gonna make like, I just put in another 20 bottles for another wash. I shut the cover, and all I have to do now is I, I push the start button. Okay, the machine's finishing its wash right now, so I've washed another 20 bottles. I could, in theory, put in another 20 bottles, or I can decide, okay, I've washed enough bottles with that soap water, it's getting very dirty. So now what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna hit the drain button, or the stop button, in this case we call it stop, but it's cover has to be shut, you hit that button and it's going to drain out the water. So it's getting the machine ready for the, for the sanitizer cycle at this point. So as soon as the pump stops, I'll now put it on to cycle two. Now it's ready for the sanitizer wash. The machine has completely drained out the soap water. So the machine has emptied out the water from cycle one. I've pushed the start button. Cycle two is gonna start the sanitizer cycle. The water is now filling into the machine. And it's gonna add the sanitizer when it gets to the field tank. Okay, so cycle two sanitizer has finished. The machine is still filled with the water with the sanitizer. I can remove these 20 bottles, put in another 20 bottles to do the sanitizer, the same bottles that were done under soap wash. Now all I have to do is close the cover and I turn it to cycle, uh, cycle two. I can leave it there, push the stop button and empty out the water first. Okay, so we're on cycle three, we finished doing the final hot water rinse and I hit the stop button, it's emptied out. The machine is, is now ready for, for the next rounds of wash. But let's say I don't wanna use this cycle, I just wanna go to the automatic cycle where it's gonna soap, sanitize and hot water rinse. I'm gonna push this button right here and that automatically starts the machine in the automatic mode. So now it's gonna do our standard wash for just one tray of bottles.